Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elisa. I'm addicted to luxury goods, accessories, makeup, skincare, self-care, and I'm going to rehab soon. Today, I have a very, very exciting video as you have commented and requested. I am going to be doing the entire handbag collection, not including Chanel because we've already done that. And today, I'm just going to be talking about the entire other brands that I love and my journey and how I've come about buying bags. I'm going to be doing this by brand and timeline. I think I started wanting bags when I was going to college and I think I started with Celine at that time. It is Phoebe Philo who was the queen and my first bag was actually a Louis Vuitton Speedy and I absolutely regretted it because when I tried it, I thought it was like trendy. I really wanted it and when I got it, I did not love it at all. I sold it like within a few months and I know at that time that I'm not that trendy girl and I know that I need to stick with Phoebe Philo and Celine. But first, we're gonna start off with Dior because the first bag I have right here is the Dior saddle. This is my first ever vintage bag. This one right here, it is the classic oblique style and it has a flap in the front like this. And this one is vintage. I got this for around 20 to 30k in Thai baht, and it has a pocket in the back right here. And I just love this style so much because you can just put it like this. It looks vintage. It looks cute, and it kind of stays forever. This one is quite old. It did come with a dust bag, and the condition is really great. Like if you can tell right here, the corners are just so amazing. Like I blown away with the condition that I got this in. And with the price, this one is just amazing. It's very on trend right now. I just had this since 2018 and I still grab it from time to time. I absolutely love this. On the inside, I put the dust bag in here. It is very old as you can tell. And this one is the interior of this. It is quite old. It is in a navy fabric, but I just absolutely enjoy this. I can throw this around. It's very easy to carry. You can fit a lot of stuff in here as well. I'll have much up on the side of how this looks and I just absolutely enjoy this bag. Next for Dior, I really really enjoy this mini sandal. I got this in New York in 2021. It is a new edition. It is mini. It doesn't fit anything. It does not fit a phone for sure. What fits is some cards. It doesn't even fit a card holder, just some cards and a lipstick, card keys, it, that does fit. And the, on the inside, I already have my alcohol spray right here that is in a card shape. So on the inside, it is the same as the normal saddle, but it's just so tiny, but it's just so cute. Here is the bag and it is just so pretty. I got this in white because I know that when I go to like weddings or events, this is just a cute bag that goes with every single outfit or colorways. This one it's just really cute and there's also a pocket in the back that does not fit much as you can see the shape you can fit a card in this way but it will pop up like this i just really enjoy this for this cuteness about the price it is really pricey i mean all luxury handbags are pricey but this one is just next level but i really like the craftsmanship here and it is really hard to sew a smaller bag because i do clothing and i have tried sewing bags it is not easy when you have to sew like these little corners right here and when it is even smaller it's harder to get into areas it's even harder to make so i really appreciate the craftsmanship of this one and i absolutely love it next we have the newest addition to my collection this is a huge weekender bag from dior i just absolutely love the oblique print right here and this one is like woven into the bag i did get this from the men's store it's not from women's store. It has this closure on the front that is just really cute and magnetic. And then it also comes with this huge strap right here where you can just strap it on and use it as a shoulder bag. It looks great on men when it's crossbody. It does not look great on me because I am not that big. And this one is also the hardware. This one like straps on and off. I just absolutely love this part right here with the CD Christian Dior. It's just so pretty and I will have much else of me wearing this. I do use this as a week 
weekend are back because when I travel or when I go just like little tiny trips I use this and this one I really love the strap I love the craftsmanship of this bag there's also a pocket in the front right here you want to put receipts it does fit your phone right here on the front part as well so I think this is really nice and easy to travel with it fits a ton it's a great weekender bag and it's just huge my first ever favorite brand is Celine and I absolutely love when Phoebe Philo was there I actually fallen in love with Celine because of Phoebe Philo and I was just in love with the brand until her departure and I was just so sad when she left and my first ever bag was a tri-color luggage nano I'll have a pop-up right here of the photo that I used it but I already stole that bag because I didn't get as much use as I wanted to I also got the phantom bag I don't even remember the color that I got but I'm gonna show you the ones that I kept which is this is the Celine box right here it is in a pinkish light ivory color with the silver hardware it is also a little bit of like a brassy silver not you know the shiny one this is also matte I always like to use this as either a crossbody or just a shoulder bag because this strap is adjustable and I love this part right here where it is adjustable because I think the new plastic bags are not as adjustable as these ones and this one I got it at Singapore I still remember when I was paying for it I love the compartments on the inside we have one in the front and then we have a bigger one in the back I have dust bags in here so here are the compartments we have two like card shape holders where I put like airpods or some cards right here this is a very wide back and it is very like adjustable on the side I really really enjoy this bag I love using this bag for traveling it is just so nice to travel with I absolutely enjoy it and I've kept it since forever it is a little bit scratchy because I do have a little scratch right here I don't know if you can tell but I'm just so sad that it has a little scratch and because I've used this since like 2017 or 2018 the back is starting to like crack a little so I hope it will stay in shape and I might I need to take it to spa or something so after the box bag that I got in 2017 I did get like a few luggage I also got a micro which I already sold I also enjoy those bags but it got really heavy and I found myself not grabbing towards it and not using it as much so I just had to let it go even though it's very sentimental to my heart and then next I also got this PVC bag from Celine it was sold right before Phoebe Philo's departure and it came with like a wallet but obviously I sold the wallet part and literally kept the PVC one I just really wanted to collect it and I used it for a bit and I think I like cracked this part so I stopped using it I know there's a lot of like counterfeit ones out there but it's just close to my heart and I want to keep this one for myself I just really enjoy it at first when I was wearing it a lot now I honestly just keep it in a closet and just look at it from time to time because I really really love the old Celine I would say in 2018 and 2019 I bought a lot of Celine bags because there was like news when she was leaving and also when she was actually leaving there was also a lot of sales as well and I got this on sale this is the beach tote bag right here it has the Celine logo in the bottom it is fabric and it's woven but this is a great 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 beach bag I use this to the beach and I use this when I take on trips and whatnot there is a leather patch on the inside where you have a zipper compartment and two card slots right here I just really enjoy this on the beach it looks great with every single outfit that I wear and I absolutely love this I will give you some more shots of me wearing this bag I just really enjoy this and I got this for like 30% off even though it was still quite pricey but I just keep it this is from 2018 and I absolutely love it even though I only take this to the beach or when I'm traveling I absolutely love this bag I also have a few trios I know I am insane and obsessed my first trio right here it is a white color I'm actually putting this on sale like I'm selling this bag because I got this at the outlet in New York like way back I don't remember which year but it is really like used and the bag it has some like color transfer on it but I just absolutely love the three compartments and how it could be separated or put back together it's just so amazing the craftsmanship is amazing as well and I got this one which I'm selling and then I also got this black one around the same time that you know I find out 
Phoebe was leaving. This one is a large size. I like this to wear crossbody. I use this when I want to go travel or when I'm actually going somewhere that I want to be discreet or if I'm hiking or something. I don't know. This one is just black color and the leather is so smooth but durable. Very durable. I've not gotten that many scratches on here. I hope so. Fingers crossed. And I just love again the three compartments where you can take it apart. It looks classic. It's very easy to use. You can adjust the straps and this is the shortest already so it's not gonna be a shoulder bag. I put some mud shots and if you want it to be a shoulder bag you can add more holes to it as well. They do that at the store at that time i don't know about now because I honestly i have stopped shopping celine since the change even though i do like the new celine like i do admire it but because i just love bb Philo so much i feel like i don't see myself wearing the new celine as much and then i also got this super mini celine this is their super mini trio but it becomes like four now it's not trio because it's so nice and tiny it fits all the cards it actually fits a lot more than you think it will obviously it does not fit a phone at all but this one fits all my cards my card holder a lipstick i usually put my cards and card holder in this front one and then i put like airpod in this one i put my car keys in this one and also a alcohol spray in the back so it does fit everything that i need except my phone after the trio i also got this small box size i know this one is discontinued they now have the teen size but this one i absolutely love it this this is just black with the textured leather. It's very durable to scratches and whatnot. This one, I did the strap the shortest that it could be. So it's gonna be a shoulder strap like this. I could also readjust the strap for it to be cross body. So the compartment is a little bit different, but very similar. It has three compartments, which is the bottom one, the middle one that is the biggest and the back that is the smallest with a zipper and this one I always just use the two in the front and the back I only put things that I don't really grab that much and I absolutely love this bag I know the new teen size is a little bit thinner this one is quite thick compared to the classic side is it almost the same the other one is going to be the one I'm going to be talking about soon this one is just so nice and easy to wear and it looks great cost body I absolutely love this I think this is a very very classic bag. I've had this since 2018 so I absolutely love it. Next at Phoebe's departure of course I cannot not buy this logo bag the Celine Tote. I just it's huge. It is just huge and I don't get as much use out of it. I only use this when I'm traveling because it fits like a ton. It's just so big. I do have like a lot of bags in here when I use this because I need little compartments to like organize my stuff and the bag is just so white that I am scared to get anything on it so I barely use it every time I use it i make sure it's nice and clean and i don't get anything on it but i absolutely love this it is just so pretty minimal and that's just how celine is i love phoebe philo's all color combinations it's like good neutrals and when there's color it's just a great color combination i just absolutely love it and last but not the least i got this classic python box bag in the classic size as well and this one right here it has a little bit of stain in the back so i do need to get to the spa i actually got this in new york this was after phoebe's departure i went to new york i went to barney's in 2019 and she already left and when this came out i really wanted it but it was way over my budget that was like way before maybe two or three two years ago so i think i guess 2017 i really wanted this but i didn't have the money for it and then 2019 when I saw this it was like the last one and I thought this is like fate even though you know I thought about it on my own everything is in my head but this one I absolutely love this one is the crossbody strap I could also use this as a shoulder bag I will have mod shots again and this is just so amazing I absolutely enjoy this and I always use this for traveling I will show you the inside compartments again it is the classic compartments where there's front and the back and here is the two cards it is just so amazing and this zipper I don't really use it in the back I just love this color it is a nice new neutral gray color it goes with almost all my outfits and the python is just so pretty this is actually my only exotic leather bag like the only one just because of like the symmetry and everything and it being celine it being phoebe i'm sorry i talk a lot about phoebe because i just love her so much and i can't wait to see what she's gonna come out next i am absolutely super duper sad when she left celine 
after Celine, I had a Bottega craze because Daniel Lee went to Bottega and he worked with Phoebe for so long. So I had a Bottega craze right after Celine as Phoebe left. So along the way after Phoebe left in 2019, I went into a Loewe craze a little bit. I had the Puzzle bag, the Balloon bag, Raffia bag. I had a little bit of craze in that, but I sold all that because I really don't grab towards it as much. So I basically always sell the bags that I don't really use. I only keep the ones that I really use so I don't waste things like it's not gonna clutter I don't want to hold on to things I want to let go of what I don't use and when I started to have the craze of Bottega the first bag was actually a black Jody which I sold again I'll have a pop-up right here a black Jody I had a pouch with the chain the caramel pouch with the chain but the chain is just so heavy and then I also got this padded cassette right here this is in the silver hardware and I just absolutely love the padded look and it is very lightweight I would say it fits a lot but it doesn't fit that much and I also like kind of twist the straps like this way so that it is like a shoulder bag so it's not crossbody because it is so long with the crossbody bag and this one it fits everything that needs to be inside my bag and because it is padded it's kind of tight in the bag but it is stretchy because of the woven leather i truly enjoy this bag i use this a lot for traveling and this part in the back right here is totally scratched up like this area right here is so scratched i am like super duper sad that this part is so scratched up but at least it's in the back so I always hide it when I wear my bag like this and I love their hardware I just wish they have a better way of making the strap crossbody or shoulder bag so I could use this a lot more so next I got this cute little Jody. this is in their shirling which is like very very cute like a ducky kind of color it is so pretty I absolutely enjoy this bag right here it's so cute and the reason I sold the Jody was actually because of the zipper like the leather one because it is leather it's not that easy to like open and close like when it was the black woven leather but this one because it is like fur on the inside it is really easy to get in and get out that one it was really stiff so when I put my hand in and out my hand always scratched the zipper and it hurts like it hurts like hell so I am so glad I sold that when the price was really good like I didn't really lose a lot in terms Terms of like money because now the prices are so high for Bottega that when you sell your second hand bags the price drops so much so at that time it was great that I got the bag like when it was still not too bad I think I got the black Jody for maybe 40 to 50 ish K and I sold it for like 40 50 ish K because now it's like so expensive and this one is just so cute and pretty and I got this in New York as well in 2021 and I just enjoy this it is so cute and I can hug it and Honestly, my dog also really likes this. When I carry it, he wants to get into it. He wants to destroy it. So I have to make sure this really stays away from him. So after this, I also got a white Arco tote that I already sold and also a big tote Arco bag that is in green color. I bought it for traveling. And then when I came back, I barely used it because it's leather and it's like just heavy. It's kind of similar to the Dior book tote, which I sold as well. I think they're both great for like putting lots of stuff going to work or if you have just a lot of stuff but I don't get as much use because I don't have a lot of stuff so it just depends on whether you carry a lot or not and that is it for Bottega last but not the least I have this Goyard PM tote bag this is in the gray color and I feel like I'm not a Goyard person like I think a few years back I felt like I had to be more girly girl to have a Goyard bag but then when I went to Korea last year in November I got this and the price was so good that I really had to get this and I also got a back insert from Samorga and I just absolutely love this with a back insert I do not love this if there's no back insert because it's super like slouchy and the feeling on the outside is a little bit plasticky because it's not leather it's canvas so on the inside the some Morga compartments is just great I use this bag almost every day for my makeup because I do my makeup in the car I got some like makeup spray in here I got some like dry 
dry shampoo and I also got this like Hermes tote to put all my face mask in here so it is back in here I also have some sunscreen like this is just so amazing there's also this pouch right here that I don't really get much use out of it but you can put some stuff in here like cards receipts and whatnot it's just really great and along with this bag I also got a card holder from them and I really enjoy it but I think it's just really stiff and you can't put that many cards in there and if you want me to do a review on small leather goods please let me know but I really really enjoy this bag and there's also a price increase so I feel like I will be buying more Goyard stuff but just now I'm really into Hermes I don't have enough money to buy other brands anymore and that is it for Goyard. <laughs> Last but not the least, I have my two Hermes bag. This one is the Hermes Kelly that I did a review and my bag journey. This is in the Togo leather in Retourne in black color or nor. This one is in the gold hardware and I do have this tulle on here. Sometimes I just take it off but when I use it in my daily life, I have this on just to protect it. As I've said before, I absolutely enjoy this bag. I use it so much and every time I store this bag, I put the felt fabric in and I also have like insert inside here so that it keeps a shape because this one is the retourner style and people say it's going to slouch. I want to try to keep them in the best condition as I possibly can. Last but not the least, this is my Birkin 25 that I did an unboxing on and I'm so thankful that you guys really enjoy that video. This one is in the gris Totorel color and I haven't gotten much use out of this because I'm just so scared I'm gonna like grab it or do something with it that I regret so this is the 25 size it is also in togo leather in retourne style I absolutely love the retourne style I do not like the stiff cellier style but I think when I find the right combo I will love it but at this point I love this one and I'm really getting used to this now at first I was really annoyed that this is just so small but now that I'm using it quite a while I kind of know how to wiggle my arm in especially when I use use it on my left side where I have bangles and I always go with my left arm for some reason. I should have just be used to this so it's easier because I don't have bangles on my right side but I think I'm getting more used that I just go in, I wiggle around a little bit just you know be calm and collected when I use this bag so I obviously just use this bag for special occasion but I absolutely adore it and I was thinking of selling it but then no I really want to keep this bag because I absolutely love it. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Watching. I know it's quite long. I'm so sorry about that, but I hope you enjoyed this video If you have any questions or requests, please leave them down below and if you like this video, please do like and subscribe I hope to see you in the next one. Bye